Hello and welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved. We are playing a game where you create a pathogen and try and wipe out all life on Earth because it's topical and I've had this game for a while. In fact, I was playing another mobile phone. It is a mobile phone game that's been ported to the PC and is available on Steam. Uh, we're just going to click single player, boom, and we're going to hit play. We are going to, well, we're going to start off with bacteria, which is the first pathogen you get anyway. Uh, you do unlock all the other pathogens as you play. So you get the virus, the fungus, the worm, the parasite, and the, you get other things like the simian flu and the shadow plague, a sentient mutagenic pathogen, which triggers a powerful thirst for blood. So vampirism. Um, but yeah, basic, basic bacteria. Let's continue. Um, we can insert genetic code. We, well, we have to unlock that. So let's not do that. We'll hit continue again. Uh, normal game, yes please. Pack 12, no thank you. We're going to go big butts. And we're not going to lie. Hit play. So, welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. So let's hit OK. Select a start location. Select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm or click on another country instead. So, so this is a mobile game. This is the main screen. And if we click on a country, we get this little this little pop up that, that happens. So we can click on Russia. Uh, can we click on Russia? Not yet. OK, we can't. Um, we can see basically the population and these little um, these, these three little boxes. If we click on the US of A, we've got uh, land borders, we have ports and we have uh, airports. They're all open. Uh, the hardest place in the world to infect seems to be Greenland because it's only really got one seaport into and out of and you need to um, evolve your uh, evolve your pathogen to work in colder climates. Um, so yeah, we have 160 million people in Russia. We have Kazakhstan, which is uh, a unique and interesting country, which I know very little about, although it seems to be a pretty decent place. Uh, China, too obvious. Australia has been on fire this year and then was flooded. So let's not start there. They seem to have had enough. Enough is enough. The UK, the d dear old blighty, 68.6 .6 million people. Um, no, I think USA is probably a good place to start. Let's hit the let's hit the bubble and go. So we've infected one person. Big Butts begins in the USA. Big Butts has infected its first human weak and unspecialized. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. So we hit these bubbles and then we get DNA points on the bottom. Let's click on that. So we have an evolution history. We have the start date, we have the type, which is bacteria. Uh, we can click on transmission, which allows us to evolve different transmission types. So we can evolve uh, trans transmission types through water. Um, pathogen can survive outside the body in fresh warm water. Increases infectivity, especially in humid environments and ship transmission. A good one if you want to get Greenland. Um, air uh, gives pathogen the ability to travel on dust particles, increases infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission or Africa. Um, you've got livestock. Livestock susceptible to infect infection increases infectivity, especially in rural regions and mutation. Um, so like livestock is a good one to get water and air. Um, blood. Um, so livestock and blood also give mutation chances. Uh, gives an organi organism the ability to spread through blood-to-blood -blood contract, uh, increases infectivity, especially in poor regions, and a mutation chance. So chance of mutation, ah, insects chance of mutation, rats chance of mutation, and birds chance of mutation. So that's kind of cool. We've got the symptoms, so we can evolve things like nausea, uh, coughing, rash, anemia, cysts and insomnia and these will open trees later on so insomnia the inability to sleep makes people irritable and less productive a good one to get so the abilities we can evolve cold resistance we can evolve a bacterial resilience create a bacterial shell to protect against all climates heat resistance and drug resistance drug resistance is useful for um, places like the us where uh, healthcare will kind of slow its um inf Infectiousness. So tip, pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. Pop orange DNA bubbles when they randomly appear to get bonus DNA points which you can use to evolve your disease. So we'll do that. Hit OK. So now we've got seven points. I think we need nine in order to make it uh, infectious. So boom, let's do that. Let's hit on hmm, transmission types. Let's go with water to begin with. Let's do that. 
You have successfully evolved big butts. You have spent DNA points to evolve your disease and more options have opened up. Get more points by popping DNA and biohazard bubbles and infecting people. I think I will. You also have at the top a, a ticker tape, computer games industry growing in the UK. So sometimes these news articles are kind of hilarious, actually. So what we want to do is we want to... If, oh. Scotland should become part of France. Okay, um, sure. So we can click on the USA and we can get some information on the USA from here. Uh, there are 316, 128, 316 million, 128 thousand people in the US. Uh, only six of them are infected with big butts. Nobody's working on the cure at the moment. Uh, borders will open and, well, we've got a picture of Manhattan with the Statue of Liberty's foot. We can click on other countries like West Africa. Ooh, click on that. So currently nobody is infected, but there are 330 million, 752 thousand people over there. It is a poor country. It is a rural country and it has it is a hot country so you, know, you can get some information there disease boom click on this uh, we need to evolve an ability we need the cold resistance for seven dna points cool so we need to keep up on the uh, spending the dna points we can speed the game up in the top right we have pause we have play we have times two speed and then times three speed there are keyboard shortcuts but it was designed for a mobile phone so we just click things as they appear so we don't what I don't want to spend is too many points on infectivity. I want to spend all those on making it more lethal towards the end of the game. Goldman Stanley Bank Crisis. The investment bank reported catastrophic losses today due to a technical error in their random number generator. Uh, High-tech camouflage tank lost by army. All right, cool. On the ticker up there. So we got nine points. We have 12 points. Uh, what have we got so far in terms of transmission? So we have water. So we can spend uh, spend points on making something more uh, infectious. So we can spend it. We can get a refund, but we can only refund two points from that. I think. Um, do I want insects, especially hot climates and chance of mutation? So carrier insects increase infectivity, especially in hot climates with a chance of mutation. I think maybe ten points uh, or blood. Hmm. I think let's do. Oh, I don't really know. I want to murder everyone in the world. Uh, let's do rodent. There we are. Eleven DNA points. Also a chance of mutation. So common flea susceptible to infection increases infectivity, especially in urban regions, and a chance of mutation. Excellent. So we click on the US of A. Ten people are infected with big butts. And nobody has died. We can click on the thing and it just tells us down here. Excellent. Or just look at the bottom of the screen. Medicine in USA slowing infection. USA is a wealthy country with high quality healthcare. To spread faster, you may need to evolve the drug resistance ability. I mean, mm, I'm not talking about the USA's healthcare. Big butts begins to spread. Big butts is spreading from person to person in the USA and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it yes we do so only 13 people are infected now we can spend the beginning part of the game we're on times two speed we can spend the, the beginning part of the game um to just kind of infect people slowly gather those points and then just blow them on making this thing as infectious and deadly as possible but as soon as the world starts researching on a cure if we haven't murdered a lot of people or made them paranoid or vomiting in through their own eyeballs that research can just shoot up and we have no way of um like doing anything to our disease to stop them uh so increased rainfall in humid countries latest glo uh, latest research shows that humid countries are getting significantly wetter due to go global warming that is a thing that's actually happening. Huh. So that's a bit of an issue. We've got 16 points. So uh, we got water and we got rodent transmission at the moment. It's not very infectious. If we click on the overview, we've bumped up our infectivity rates. The severity is quite low and the lethality is basically zero. We do have a chance of it mutating um, if we click here. Now, um, I think we should only really spend it on one more option from this this area. Um, 
Maybe air, air particles, maybe blood. Uh, let's go with blood. I will go with blood. I, I'm not entirely sure because we, we really need to infect Africa. Um, and air particles are a good way of doing that. So UK voters for uh, UK votes for Brexit and referendum. Voters in the UK vote to leave the EU. Remainers are concerned this could severely damage the UK, but leavers claim it will be fine. Unclear whether Brexit will actually happen. I mean, it has, and it's not great. Gonna be honest. Uh, insomnia symptom mutated. Excellent. Uh, Big Butts has mutated and developed the insomnia, insomnia symptom without using DNA points. This is actually quite good because if we go to symptoms, click on insomnia. Inability, inability to sleep makes people irritable and less productive. That is actually quite good. Um, we can uh, we can create coughing for four DNA points. Let's do that. So chance of infection by spreading the pathogen into surroundings, especially in high density urban areas. So this makes the disease more noticeable. Um, these outer options, things like nausea, slight chance of infection while kissing, um, rash, um, slightly uh, skin becomes blistered and painful, slightly increasing infectivity. It helps to get this, this thing around the world. At the moment, it's just in the USA. It's only infected 29 people. It should reach a tipping point where it becomes exponentially more um, infectious. Animals go on strike over dangerous road crossing. Oh, no animal crossing. Uh, Terry Pratchett voted best author ever. I mean, yeah. What that? Why would that even be a thing? Uh, so far, it's not left the U.S. of A. Um, 67, 69, 70 people infected. Excellent. So as far as um, abilities go, we can make it drug resistance. We got one cold resistance. Um, we can start changing up the symptoms. Yeah, we really want it to be horrible. Uh, Brexit sounds great, says Lemming. Uh, oh, oh, game creators, you uh, you tickled me with your humour. Porgs not cool, says Ewok. No, porgs were just a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, tip country information. To find out more information about a country, click on the country name at the bottom of the screen to open the country menu. Yes, we've already done that. We've looked at the USA. We've got 144 people infected. There's not many people infected. Why would we even bother with this tiny little disease? Rash symptom mutated. Big butts has mutated and developed the rash symptom without using DNA points. Spicy. Yeah. We're on times two speed. So yeah, the uh, the US has got 206, 208, 215. Um, Big Butts has infected hundreds in the USA, increasing the chance an infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease. We've only got six points. As soon as it starts leaving the um, leaving the US, what's going to happen is we'll get a load of pop-ups appear. We'll be able to evolve disease massively. We don't want it to be too lethal straight away, because otherwise we might kill people before they get to infect other people. Um, yeah, so it's still in the US. We've only got 583, so it's fine. Um, we can involve sweating. I guess it's a good one. Loss of fluid through sweating increases the infection rates due to poor hygiene. More dangerous in cold countries. Baby, you know I want it. Cool. Excellent. So I'd rather, I'd rather disease had more things that it did. You were like, ooh, I'm a little bit of a sweaty boy. I little sleepy, can't do the things than having to spend all the points on making it harder to make making it uh, survive better in different climates. I don't, I don't know. It's bacteria. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so we've only got four points. We'll speed it up times three speed. Boom. Festival of Love in the USA. Oh, baby. We've got 16,000 people infected. Uh, USA celebrates Festival of Love. Fans praise the replacement for International Kissing Day. Critics question hygiene standards. Big Butts infects thousands. Big Butts has infected thousands in the USA. People are being infected faster and faster. You know it. 20,000 people, 21,000 people, 23,000 people, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, exponential increase. What is going on? 
big bats have spread to Egypt. Egypt has become has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA. Boom. Uh, paranoia symptom mutated. Big bats has mutated and developed the paranoia symptom without using DNA points. That's kind of what we want to... Because we only got nine DNA points. Uh, Rio Olympics mystery. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the Rio Olympics. Organizers promote, uh, promise it will happen soon, but no reason has been given for the change. Rio Olympics. Mate. It's Tokyo this year, isn't it? Hmm. Don't know. We got 10 points, though. Do we want to spend them? Oh, wait. What was... Oh, that's Egypt. 17 people infected in Egypt. Sorry, Egypt. Uh, cool. Boom, boom. 16 points. So we're in Africa. We're in North America. We're in the USA. Uh, we're 100,000, 200,000, 220,000, 224, 230,000 people have been infected. Oh, nice. Mexico. Sorry. You got 88 people, 90 people, 104 people infected. What about Australia? Oop. Big butts infecting more countries. Big butts is infecting more countries. Control where it goes by involving transmission traits in the disease menu. Oh no. Oh, Iceland, I'm sorry. You have one person infected out of your 323,000. Um, Libya, I'm so sorry. 10, 11, 12, 13 people in Libya. This, if anything, is just an education in where places are in the world. A huge earthquake in Japan. Billions of dollars of damage caused in Japan. Who expects it will take years to repair the damage caused by uh, caused to thousands of businesses, homes, and research facilities? Sorry, Japan. Have we got... Have people died? Dead. Oh, look. So the earthquake actually took out 1,808 people, even though um, Japan has zero infected people. Hmm. Curious and curious. Oh, and their ability to research. So these little things, the, these little um, in, in, inactive research labs. So these are all research labs, and two of them have been destroyed. Interesting. Oh no, the UK. Uh, scientists increase understanding in diarrhea. Scientists have had a breakthrough in their understanding of diarrhea and will be able to cure diseases with it more easily. Ooh. Hmm. Better not involve diarrhea too soon. Uh, Canada, sorry. Uh, tip, world menu contains useful data. Now Big Butts is beginning to spread around the world. Use the world data menu at the bottom right to see which countries are not infected yet. We can do that. So we click on here. There are uh, 7 billion, 124 million, 543,000 people in the world. There's 1,808 people dead from an earthquake. There are 3 million people infected. We have most of the world is still unaffected. Um, only the Caribbean, Canada, Sudan, Central America, Saudi Arabia, UK, Libya, Iceland, Mexico, USA and Egypt are infected currently. That's kind of sucks. On the right hand side the potential research is 100%. No it's not quite 100% because two labs got destroyed so there's a little black bar near 100 so the world research ability has kind of gone down a little bit. Nobody's researching a cure at the moment so that's excellent. Um, we are infecting more more stuff. We can we can get the disease to be a little bit more spicy. Russia. Oh, I'm sorry. More infectious than tuberculosis. Big Butts has infected more people in the world than tuberculosis. It is a very infectious disease. Hmm. That is a bit of an issue. Oh, I'm sorry, South Africa. Big Butts has mutated and developed the sneezing symptom without using DNA points. Yes, it has. That is a spicy, spicy symptom. Um, okay, so 28 people in South Africa have been infected. Brazil, 16, 18, 20 people in Brazil. Did we click on Brazil? Let's click on it. 210 million people in Brazil. 30 infected. Sorry about that. New minor disease spreading. Uh, let's click on that. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Egypt found a new disease which, which has been named Big Butts. It appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. This is a bit of a problem. Egypt starts working on a cure. Egypt is the first to instruct doctors to begin researching a cure for big butts without greater funding. It is expected to take a long time. So, the cure. Boom. Um, ETA is 17th of the 8th, 2029. 
that means the 17th of August 2029. Just wanted to get that out there just in case anyone was like, what, these numbers are wrong? No, no, that's the correct way around for the numbers to be. Sorry. More infectious than HIV. Big Butts has infected more people in the world than HIV. It is extremely infectious disease. Yeah, it is. We are going to start in... Um, let's evolve seizures. Random blackouts and fits reduce the patient's ability to function independently. Can be fatal. Um, or we could... Oh, what else can we get that's going to make it a little bit more... Hmm... Oh yeah, look, skin lesions break down in the epidermis, causing large open wounds which significantly increase infectivity. Baby, you know I want it. And what else? We got necrosis. Well, I probably don't want to start killing people. Um, so, increase in temperature for fever, immune suppression. Pathogens attached to lymphocytes, suppressing immune system, allowing significantly greater freedom of mutation can be lethal. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got transmission spicy enough. Uh, let us use one more. Evolve air transmission. Gives pathogen the ability to travel on dust particles. Mm, increases infectivity, especially in arid environments. Now, do we want that? No, I don't think we do. I think we want to increase the abilities. So we got uh, evolved bacterial resilience. I don't think we want. I think drug resistance. Evolved. And then pathogen becomes harder to analyze in the lab. So genetic hardening one. Pathogen becomes harder to analyze in the lab, decreases further research speed. Boom. Um, we can reassemble the DNA strands. Genetic hardening two. I think 25 points and we can do that, which makes it harder to research. Big butts is becoming scary. The more scary big butts becomes by hurting and killing people, the harder humans will try to cure it. Remember, this is when evolve uh, remember this when involving a disease. First death from big butts has been confirmed in the USA. Bad luck at the beginning of something terrible. Okay, so the it's now 15th, the 2nd, 2131 is the cure time. Excellent. Uh, Egypt shuts down airports. Egypt has become the first country to try and limit the spread of big butts by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if this will work. Yeah, well, hopefully it won't because now we're affecting more and more places. We still haven't got Greenland. Oh, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oof, almost lost one there. Uh, Rio Olympics back on. The, re uh, the, the Olympics will soon, uh, will be begin soon despite big butts. Will people bring the disease to Brazil? I mean, it's already there. Sorry, Brazil. Um, genetic hardening too. The pathogen does not reproduce in lab conditions, decreases further research speed. I'm doing it. Um, I'm also going to do genetic reshuffle one because that allows us to run down this tree of shuffling the, the thing around. Okay. Um, and then we hit play again. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's click on the world. Half a million people in the world has been infected. So we have now more countries in the world that have been infected than not. Um, let's increase the speed again a little bit. So the Rio Olympics should help. Rio Olympics infect Brazil. People infected with big butts came to Rio and spread the disease. It should have never gone ahead. Oh, Brazil. Whoa, boom, boom. People are dying in India faster than new people are being infected. Oh, that is actually a problem. Uh, boom, boom. That is actually a problem. We need to make it more infectious. Uh, let's, let's click on here. Symptoms. Hmm, transmission. Well, I didn't want to, but okay. Um, air gives the pathogen the ability to travel on dust particles, increases infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission. Do it. Um, and we will involve the insects. Insects susceptible to infection. Carry insects increase infectivity, especially in hot climates uh, with a chance of mutation. Evolve. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Ooh, that's a spicy nugget. Um, 96 million people in China infected with 22,000 dead. Uh, what's happening in India? 600,000 infected, 312 dead. Okay, just hit play at normal speed because it's getting a little bit... Uh, Big Butts placed on watch list. Big Butts has been placed on the WHO watch list. Already dangerous governments have warned that it could become unstoppable. Let's do that. 
is Greenland going to get infected? That is the that's the spicy noodle in our uh, spicy broth. Zero infected in Greenland. Mm, more infectious than the common cold. Big butts has infected more people in the world than common cold. Is the ultimate infectious disease? It is, but it's kind of. Uh, Japan begins to break down. Normal life in Japan is beginning to break down due to big butts. Cure research is starting to slow. That's what we kind of want. We also need it to get to Greenland. This is a bit of a problem. Let's make it. Um, okay. Pathogen able to survive chemistry, uh, in chemically treated water increases infectivity, especially in human environments and ship transmission. Let's get that. Um... Hmm. Birds. Uh, so avian carriers. Land transmission mutation. Nope. We need. We need a way of infecting. Huh. So air two gives the organism the ability to survive suspended in the air for a long time. Increases infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission. Well, uh, hopefully it's more infectious now. Uh, the Brazil leading the global cure effort. Brazil has started to send research teams to infected countries hoping to speed up development of cure for big butts. Pop blue bubbles to destroy the research. I don't want to. I want to kill people. Um, okay, click on the... Ah, yes, excellent, 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 excellent. Spicy noodles all round for everyone. Right, so we have to... We're, okay, I'm going to pause it a second. So, oh, we can't click on anything. Yeah, we can um so greenland has now 30 people infected so we had we had to have um cold resistance to even infect greenland but it's one of the last places to actually get infected 103 uh 121 disease points so if we click on the world we currently have nearly 40 percent of the world researching a cure there are 2.1 billion people healthy there are 4.9 people a billion people Infected and 10 million people dead. No country in the world is um, without uh, without infection. Seizures symptom mutated. Big butts is mutated and de uh, developed the seizure symptom without using DNA points. I kind of want everyone to be infected, but I have to keep an eye on this uh, this cure progress because if the cure progress uh, tip fight the cure, there are two ways to fight development of cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries. Uh, more noticeable or evolve cure resistance less noticeable yeah let's do the cure resistance so we're going to go with abilities so we're going to go genetic reshuffle two boom and then genetic reshuffle three mm, no let's hold on to that for a second no yeah let's do it uh wait a second i want to go here so eta is 24th of the 12th 2023 so we do genetic reshuffle three ETA is 24th of 12, 2023. Mm, okay. Not really winning any... 5th of the 1st, 2024. Okay, we have got a little bit further ahead. We need it to be a little bit more spicy noodles. 12% uh, on the cure. Um, cure. Right, okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Symptoms. Um, decrease in red blood. Epoxy to organs, no cysts. Painful lumps containing pockets of the pathogen. Slight increase of bursting, a uh, slight chance of bursting, which can spread the disease. Do it. Um, what about this? Pneumonia. Nope. Uh, we've got nausea. Oh, we haven't got the nausea. Uh, irritated stomach lining leading to discomfort. Slight chance of infection when kissing. Mwah. Um, vomiting. The expulsion of infected material through projectile vomiting increases the risk of infection. Mwah. Blah. Uh, what else? Um, so pulmonary edema. It's my favourite band. Uh, potentially fatal heart abnormality causes breakdown of respiratory system, releasing pathogen into the air. Hmm. Pathogen active. You know, let's leave it for a second. We can make it more spicy in a second. Killed more than the Black Death. New statistics show that big butts has killed over 75 million people worldwide. Worse than the Black Death. Still only 14%, 15% of the cure, though. Uh, disease has 100 points. Uh, do, uh, research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for big... So if we click on the world tab... Mm, yeah, they are. It's a bit of a problem. 
28th of September 2023 is next and we're 2022 so like 11 months away oh look at that Greenland issues pandemic alert big butts genome fully sequenced big butts has, has its genome fully sequenced by scientists who researchers say this breakthrough will help cure efforts 20% on the cure let's make it spicy insanity uh neuropathic action of the pathogen and the frontal cortex causes severe emotional and behavioral abnormalities significantly harder to cure eat a big one um total organ failure catastrophic cell death Ooh, that seems spicy no we want to slow it down inflammation of the uh, abstracts bodily processes so inflammation inflammation obstructs bodily processes swelling can obstruct breathing and be fatal yes please um dysentery no we don't we know that's hypersensitivity uh increases likelihood of allergic reactions necrosis yeah why not uh, large swaths of infected tissue lose blood supply and become fatal sources of gangrene decomposed bodies remain a vector of transmission baby you know i want it uh, let's see what's happening now. 22% in the cure. 20% in the uh, 20% it went back by one. Excellent. Um, so the infection rates are pretty high. What's going on in Botswana? Uh, 71,000 people infected. 1.9 million people healthy. Killed more than the Spanish flu. New statistics show that big butts has killed over 120 million people worldwide. Worse than Spanish flu. Still 25% they're still researching faster than what was that? Cure for big bites is 25% complete. Yes, I know. We need to make this spicy. Um, paralysis. Pathogen destroys motor neurons causing paralysis. Significantly harder to cure and can be lethal. You know I want it. Excellent. They went from 26 to 25%. Now back to 26. So almost all of the world's current cure is 17th of September 2023. 27th. Okay. Ah, oh, we need to pop these research bubbles at 28%. Big Butts has mutated and developed the total organ failure symptom without using DNA points. Oh, oh yes please. Killed more than smallpox. New statistics show that Big Butts is the deadliest plague ever. It's killed more than 300 million people worldwide. Worse than smallpox. I mean, we're watching currently Botswana get infected. 1.3 1, 1 million people dead is 142,000. Projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit, increasing the effectivity of big butts. Like we didn't need it to be more infectious. Uh, what's going on down here? Indonesia. Oh yeah, there are people dying in Indonesia. Excellent. So um, 27% of the 73%, they are dead. Oh, if we click uh, like that, there are no healthy people left in the world eat it so russia um they have four research points two of them have been destroyed so they got zero healthy people 98 million infected people and 61 million dead people kind of spicy um there's very few places in the world with open ports whether it's seaports or uh water ports uh, disease dna points are going off the chain 37 percent 38 percent on the cure um, so zero healthy people, 2.6 billion people left in the world, 4.5 billion people Dunzo Calrissian. There are no dead countries yet. Cure is now 14th to the 10th, 2024. So we push that back a significant amount. But wait, Central Europe, uh, Central Europe is in anarchy. Central Europe is the first to fall into anarchy due to big butts. No cure research can take place. The cure research is currently at 38% and holding. Oh, can big butts annihilate the world? 39%. We are going to have to make this even more spicy. Uh, coma. Neuropathic, effect, uh, neuropathic effects on the brain cause loss of consciousness and sometimes death. Significantly harder, harder to cure. Yes, I want it. Uh, systemic infection. Mm, we don't need uh, infection. Pulmonary fibrosis. Scarring of the lungs causes shortness of breath and extreme coughing. Can be fatal when combined with intense exercise. Do we need that? I don't think we do. Hemorrhaging. Uh, uh, hemorrhagic shock severe loss of blood volume causes oxygen deprivation loss of consciousness and death 35 dna points i want it um abscesses well we don't need that pneumonia oh yeah serious uh serious fluid that um serious fluid build and discharge from the lungs people in cold climates especially vulnerable baby 
you're all that I want. The lethality, currently, let's go into the overview. The lethality is getting scary. Now, the severity is high. The infectivity is high. We have infected. Well, we have, we've evolved this like crazy, mad crazy. So currently, 35% on the world cure. It's gone back down from 39%. The disease DNA points are off the chain. Poland's government uh, has fallen. Sucks for Poland. Uh, 36. The back to the world is back up to 36 percent. What is going on in Poland? And that's Germany. That's Poland. Oh, mate, Poland is done. 38 million five hundred thousand uh, five hundred thirty thousand seven hundred twenty-five people dead. Gone. Government. Government's gone. Sorry. What's going on in the UK? There's only 382 people infected in the UK. Uh, 68 million people are dead. UK is dead. UK is gone. Greenland is gone. Canada is almost gone. 600, 100 people dead. Gone. Uh, there's 245,000, 170. There's almost nobody left in the US of A. We're going to make it more spicy. We're going to make this thing spicier. Symptoms. Can we make it, uh, what are we, pulmonary fibrosis or pulmonary edema? Well, let's get on my favorite band. Pulmonary edema. Potentially fatal heart abnormality causes breakdown of a respiratory system, releasing pathogen into the air. You know we want it. This thing is spicy as anything. There are 34,000, 17,000 people, 4,000 people left in the USA. Nope, the US is gone. Big butts to eradicate humans. Big butts has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans like dying in holes with no chance of survival. Let's click on the world. There's 12,166 people left in the entire world. All of these countries are gone. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm also not sorry. Where in the world is still alive? <laughs> Where in the world is Carmen Sandiago? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Big Butts has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Victory! Excellent. So, that was uh, Plague Inc. Evolved. And we did quite a, quite a good job of wiping out 7.1 billion people with a bacteria. Um, it was on normal. So not a not a problem. Cure progress was thirty six percent, and it took one thousand and ninety five days to uh, to achieve that. Excellent. So I'm gonna leave it there for the time being. Uh, if you if you like this and want to see more, we can do viruses and all manner of stuff. Or if you just think yeah, yeah this is fine as a one off, then leave it as a one off. That's uh, absolutely fine by me. Um, leave your comments down below if you want to subscribe to the channel. It's free. Why would you not? Um, click the little bell if you do subscribe because that gives you notifications when videos go live. There is a Facebook page. There's also a Twitter page and a website. So, you know, check those out. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. I'll catch you next time.